Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a quick and effective uh, three times scheme for a white scar. And the first method I'm using is dry brushing, and we'll be using army green as our first base color. And we're doing this on the whole model. And for the majority of it, you know, we want this uh, this first layer to cover the majority. And that's what we're looking like so far with it. And, you know, making the pads a little bit brighter with that army green, just, you can keep dry brushing it on making it more opaque next we'll be using tan flesh and we're doing the same thing right over top of the green and I like how this color lays on top of the army green And we're mainly just focusing on the armor bits. And really getting it, you know, pretty opaque at the, like, the top of the pads and the top of the head. And it really has a, it gives it a really cool texture being able to dry brush the layers on like that. And that's what he's looking like after the tan flesh. Next we'll be using brain matter beige. And this is like a, an off white color. And we're just layering it right over everywhere we put the uh, the tan flesh. And with this scheme, you know, I, I keep it uh, more simple than my other uh, three times quick effective schemes. Uh, in that sense, I, I'm only using uh, five colors with each of these models. And we're just catching the top of the, the knees, the top of the pads, the trim around the pads. And we use this color on his uh, bolter as well. Then the next, we're just going to be using the Brain Matter Beige again, and I'm just adding detailing scratches and adding highlights, you know, where I see fit, just using straight Brain Matter Beige. And so far, you know, we've only used three colors, and then we did the detailing with the, just a brush rather than dry brushing, just to add a little more to it, give it some character. The next we'll be using red game ink, and we're using this for all his sigils and the trim on his pad. And I went ahead and. You know, I added like a little lightning bolt for white scars on a shoulder pad. And mine wasn't that great, but uh, 
he had a pad that didn't have a trim on it, so I just figured I'd add something. And we went ahead and uh, painted the uh, the purity seal on his leg. The next, we're using the black ink, and we use this just to wash the weapons and all the in between the joints and around the trim on the pads and his earpiece. And we're just keeping it simple for troops. And I didn't add any metallics in this, but you could easily add a metallic step before you do any type of black wash over the weapons. I just wanted to do it with a minimum of like five colors and make it as simple as possible. And still have, you know, an effective, uh, good looking color scheme. So the next one that we're doing is with the airbrush, and we're starting out with the same colors using the army green. Now, with the airbrush, there's uh, a little more variable in the opacity that you spray the uh, base color on. Uh, looking back now, I probably would have went a little less with the tan flesh just to show that green through a little more. To where you can see all three gradients from the brain matter beige to the tan flesh to the green. To give it more of a, a tarnished or weathered look. But using an airbrush, everything's going to come out smooth gradients, you know. And then using the brain matter beige, just highlighting that tan flesh with the airbrush. Catching the, the tip of the beak on his helmet. Hitting the tops of the pads. In the front of his gun there, just to add some uh, color to wash over. And then using the uh, brain matter beige, we're just going around and edge highlighting pads, uh, you know, the corners on his uh, elbows, all, all the armor pieces, just trimming it out. On the inside of the pads, just freehanding a little line, just to add details. And then after we do that, we're using the red again, and using this for all the sigils. And as, as well as uh, his eye, his lenses on his helmet. And then we're using the black gaming, and we thin this down pretty good. We did on the last model as well. Thin them down to where we can use them as washes. I just like how these inks. Uh, how good they like decrease into the crevices and things. And you can use a uh, you know any type of black or dark wash would work just fine. You know, and, and keeping it as simple as possible, you know, we washed, you know, all the joints in between the armor, the sections in between the backpack the earpiece, the whole gun. And moving on to the third one, this is a mix or a combination if you got if you got brushes and an airbrush as well. And this is more of a, uh, a weathered look. We're just using the army green through the airbrush. And then we're just going to be dry brushing with the tan flesh. 
And with this, uh, with this method, you know, it's a lot more of a uh, wetter dry brush. It's not like completely dry, which allows me to get texture on the model. More, less noise and more of a, uh, a grease look. And then we're using the Brain Matter Beige, and we're stippling it on there with just a brush. And really, this is like up to you. Like I like, I like the way it looked with the stipple stippling because it gives it that weathered look or a chipped effect. And it's really quick and easy, and I think the results look really good. And then we red wash everything thinning it down and then we'll do the same thing with the black ink and that is pretty much it uh, five colors for each of these schemes uh, you know using different methods or, or combining you know dry brushing with edging and washing you know it's a uh, inexpensive in the sense that like you only need five colors and it's really quick to do on a whole bunch of troops and you know I'll make more videos like this uh, if y'all let me know in the comments what y'all like to see next but uh, that's that's it we got the dry brush the airbrush and then the mix I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video and we'll see y'all next time later